Simnalai Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State. Known some of these economic issues, the money, the pot of money may not be there. But why we put this thing at a table is that we expect, we hope, we pray that at the end of your tenure, that these roads will be completed. You may wish to take them in phases, you know, be your style. We, but at the end of the day, we hope that uh, the roads will be done to give us a sense of belonging. We pray God to help you achieve this. H.A. Heritage Center and Museum Project. Your Excellency, sir, you will recall our visit to you during your gubernatorial campaign period under the auspices of H.A. Cultural and Heritage Forum. We sought your support for the construction of a befitting cultural center and museum for H.A. Nation located at our ancestral sacred sites in the world. You expressed unique unique in interest on the project, especially the museum, as a veritable storehouse for tra tradu, cultural and historical heritage that will greatly enhance tourism. You promised to support the project if eventually you march as the governor of River State. We wish to inform you, sir, that we as a Che community, as a Che nation, we have commenced the project according to our ability. And you know what our ability can translate to. And therefore, request your support to see it through. Attached here is the project design and cost implications. Health facilities. We request the following. Completion of the Zulu Hospital at OK. Construction of befitting hospital at Eberi Omoma. Presently, presently, there is no government general hospital in Omoma Department area. Renovation of Okomoku General Hospital. Equip and staff primary health centers in the Chia and Omoma local government areas. Education. We thank you for a good job in the rehabilitation of OKH Secondary School, almost ready for completion and commission. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are other seriously dilapidated secondary schools that require urgent attention for rehabilitation. These include A. Government Secondary School, Omwona, OBBHA. This was our flagship girls' secondary school in the 70s and 80s. On the same status with the very good girls' secondary school in River State. Example, Government Girls' Secondary School, Mokota. The school is presently a shadow of itself and in utter state of dilapidation. B. Government Secondary School, Nash. C. County Grammar School in Porich. <laughs> D. Government Secondary School in Berio Moma. E. Upgrade the Vocational Craft Center at Okomoku to full fledged technical school to enhance youth skills acquisition. F. The following community secondary schools, Your Excellency, undertaking senior secondary school certificate examination, SSCE, but are very poorly equipped without necessary laboratories, enough classrooms, and staff quarters. They are community secondary schools, Umozochi, 
community secondary school nihi afara odufo olapo akwa odogwa umo kwa uma jiloke obi ohia ozuzu obi te umeche etc etc isu and everything cultural organizations located in the GA nation need to be resuscitated they are one Delta rubber company with head office at Okumokumanyako, with rubber plantations at Umoye, Odawa, Abara, etc. Your Excellency, sir, you will agree with me that rubber is almost like gold in the international market. Even we can't even satisfy our local demands in the production of things like tires, tubes, and other auxiliary objects, products. B, school to land farm at Emeke Mwuba, which was to be transformed into Songhai Center, same time with Bunutai school to land farm, but was later abandoned after Emeke Mwuba communities and selected indigents had been sensitized, sensitized and trained for a project commencement at Songhai in Port Novo, in the, in the Republic. We hope this time, with the administration, they abandoned farm will be turned into a very productive agricultural venture to justify the sacrifice the two communities of Ebeke and Wumba made in donating, in donating their massive land to government in 1984 to the school to land project. Environmental pollution and degradation arising from scourge of sand mining dredging activities. Your Excellency, sir, and our dear Governor, we wish to bring to your knowledge the menace of environmental degradation as has never been witnessed in the Chinese nation, arising from sand dredging and mining activities by the Chinese nationals and other companies so individuals. Consequent upon this nefarious activities, Obako Eche, Eche nation's traditional rulers, chiefs, and other well-meaning individuals, have intervened, but we are rebuffed by these operators, stating that sand mining is on this exclusive list of the Constitution and Federal Law, Federation Law, and therefore we cannot do anything. Our waterways, especially along the Otamiruchi River, have been thoroughly messed up as a once flourishing aquatic life, which provided sustainable livelihood support to the people have been devastated. For instance, for instance, the communities of Ibi, Chokochu, Umechem, Ibo, etc., etc., along the Otamirochi River have been seriously impacted by the menace. Presently, the most worrisome are the ones operated by the Chokochu Bridge and Umayago, which may result in the collapse of that bridge. We are using this opportunity to request the River State Government's intervention to forestall this major ecological disaster. Seven, insecurity and hardship fueled by activities of hate spill and land grabbers. <laughs> Headsmen activities. The menace of headsmen in a chair ethnic nation is frightening. A chair nation which used to boast as a food basket of the state is sadly reeling under the evil activities of Kulani Hesmen. Farmers no longer feel safe and secured in their farms as they are constantly brutalized. The women are raped while their crops are devoured and destroyed by cows. The most dangerous part is that most of these herdsmen have transmuted into kidnap activities. If left unchecked, hunger and starvation will hit the populace as the cheer remains the food basket of the state. For instance, as we speak, Abara community is under siege over headsmen invasion. And as we are say, speaking now, there is a crisis between the headsmen and the community and the community people. Land grabbing. Land grabbing is another evil beseeching a chain nation. Community and farmlands are forcefully entered into with the connivance of compromised security agents. The lands are cleared with bulldozers and possessed. 
Sorry to say this. The justice, the justice system is also corrupted in their favor. This has become very per pervasive. This has become very pervasive in a chain land, resulting in frequent community crises, clashes, and bloodletting. Your Excellency, sir, kindly look into these security issues, which are weighing down on the people of a ethnic nation to avoid them growing to unmanageable dimensions. At this point, sir, Your Excellency, I am constrained to make this one last request personally to you, sir, to help support Obakechi Executive Council, which is the operatives of Obakechi Nation financially and logistically to overcome the administrative burden and challenges of managing and operating the, the system. For instance, most of we need vehicles and finances for the body's activities, which we struggle to get through benevolence or, and efforts of good-spirited individuals. That's charity. This limits our operational capacity in providing efficient and effective services to our urban This one is not written in your, your I'm personally you know, requesting and pleading for your support. Urban worldwide, on behalf of Onyishi Eche in council, Leaders and people of a Chile nation, Omoma and the Chile local government areas respectively, we reiterate our full unalloyed support to you, sir. Similarly, Joseph, and your administration, we thank you for your own reception, and may God Almighty continue to guide, protect, and be you with the wisdom to provide justice. Onishaba River State, Chikari Badao, Chikari Badao, Chikari Badao, Chikari Badao. Long live Eche Nation. Long live River State. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. There are so many, but we are very, very hopeful that God will give you all the energy to accomplish this numerous request. In a summary, in a summary, I'm summarizing the whole request in a few words. So we are here to give our government full support. And at the end, the university will smile. And we call Grant you the ability and the protection to achieve the desires of the majority of this state in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. His eminence is the ENB of Rome. The undisputed leader and head of the Chile nationality. Let me add one wild. <laughs> Other very, very respected and government recognized first class traditional leaders that are here. Other chiefs are also here to support your traditional rulers or your royal fathers. Leaders of our faith that are also here, the Bishop of the and Secretary of our, our Canary. 
other leaders of a cheer nationality that are here, our women, our youth, and also supporters of our struggle, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first thank you for this show of love. I had a similar call on Monday when the Obama inquiry came to show support to our government and to assure us that where we stand, that is where they will stand. And today, we are also witnessing another group that is also not too far. A group that was even a parent to that group, if we should go by the old You know what I mean? When we, before we started creating local government, local government, local government. So you can imagine how happy I am today. I want to assure you one thing. We are not fighting anybody. We appreciate what God has used people to also do in our lives. But we are not going to rule the state on our means. We will rule standing this way and standing. If it is only being on our means, the rule is the way that we will be seen as being lawyer. a few things that I have here and go and relax in my house comfortably because it will be a disaster. Not just to me, but to everyone and even my own generation. So I will continue to stand tall and stand on the side of We're asking for only one thing from you. Support us because our interest is very, very, very clear and straight. We mean well for our people. We want everyone to be free. We want to lead with the fear of God. We want you to express yourself without fear. I have borrowed one thing, especially. Let that one be my own from our national anthem. A nation where every man should be free of oppression. So you're coming here today. You can see how free you are. You're not tensed. Look at how your President General. Is rolling out request, request. <laughs> if it were before, you wouldn't even be a it. You can see, you can see the difference. It's not about whether I will do all or I won't do, but you can see the freedom. That is the only thing that we need. And that is the thing that keeps you healthy. So let me thank the President General for bringing your people, the great people of each year. And also, you have to help you there. Each year is, is, it covers everywhere. But you are bringing not just each year, that's my reason. You are bringing two local governments, each year and a woman, together to come and pay us this solidarity message. 
I want to assure you that we recognize all ethnic groups and we are not here because of any particular group. We are here and standing for rivers. Our greatest support has come not from my own people, but from you. The President General read here that even before my election, that he came to visit me. And I did make some promise to them. It's to show that our relationship didn't start today. So for that reason, as a government that has a very listening ear, well, I've gone through your request. If we take all these requests, it will be my <laughs> my my first four years here. <laughs> okay. But we no the first four. What was that the rest no one? But we're going to take just my examining stage. He did a summary of the request. We are going to look at those words and start at once. Yeah. I need to say this so that when you are going back, you go with them. On the issue of the effect of dredging in that your area, they also the cost. I don't think I'm the one, or it's, it's, it's a, a body man that is coming to dredge there. It is also your people. We are also, at times, not even kind and helpful to ourselves. We are seeing what is happening, we are still encouraging it. But that notwithstanding, we are going to direct the medical authority to visit the place. Yeah. Uh, on the issue of land grabbing, which is one problem that I'm even tired of attending to, there is no way that I don't get four to five complaints. I will direct to DSS, I will direct some to police, to the CP. Maybe it's high time we come out strong. Yes. I assure you will do that immediately. Yes. The headsman issue, we were working with the Nigerian police, we well, did, we did a few things, and I believe very soon, well, those ones are security issues, I don't need to discuss with you here, but I assure you we are working on that, you will get result very soon. But, you also need to, to help us, give us vital information. The headquarters of the security agencies are in Port Harcourt. You are the leaders and the owners of these places. You know when a new person, a new face enters your community. You know what is happening. Send vital information. You can pass it through your local government chair, the caretaker chairman. You can send it directly to any other person that you know that can pass this information on to us so that we can have something and work with. And the social of God, we are going to take care of those matters. Just be patient. Um, talked about agriculture. Let me assure you that agriculture is an area that we have promised the very special and personal group of the river state that in our 2025 budget which we have already started and you don't mind don't worry about those people that are delusional eh? <laughs> they think we are still sleeping let me tell you people so that they were here wherever they are i wanted to help them <laughs> sincerely because i know them and i've said it before these are people that have helped. I pay their children's school fees. I pay their house rent. 
I know somebody said, I didn't know my father was a chef. My father was already a chef officer from 2005 when I started working in finance. So if I say, if he says my father was a chef officer, yes, my father was a chef officer. Before I started working here, I was even a chef manager. So I wasn't a beggar. I had enough that I could eat the sent to people. So if you say, uh, I didn't know he was a chef, I was a chef manager in my own corner. So I wanted to help them. We all know, knew what happened when they crossed. And how did they cross? Because of our God. For them to make that mistake. They are gone and they are gone. Now, let me tell you. When I wanted to help them, I accepted to help them because what is there? We all want who disagree to agree. They thought they are smart. What is holding them is the declaration of their seat vacant that was done in December 2023. That's what it's happening. So they think why? Well, I know they don't know anything. They think I'm like that. We are not doing anybody to nullify that decision. It is what to send them to their villages. For me, as I'm talking to you, I have started preparing my budget for 2025, which I'm going to present. And in that, my budget, why did I do this your budget? My key areas for our 2025 budget, education, which you just mentioned, all the schools, health care, which you just listed, primary health centers, general hospital, and agriculture. We are going to do roads, but we need to be healthy. We need to teach our children need to go to quality school. Even if they can't go to private school, let them go to the public ones that have standard. Yes. We need to go to good health facilities by government and get standard health care. People cannot afford that one, those private hospitals. When you go to the public one, you can get the same services with the qualified professionals. That is our thing. Sure. And what we get to the issue of agriculture, this issue of unemployment. When we start engaging our youth, they won't have time to involve the crime. So our thinking is to protect and secure our states. So I want to assure you that we are on the right path. With your support, we are going to get there. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Go to the, the, the media and dance. When they go, they, they cry. <laughs> it's the truth. We, we don't know how to dance. We say it the way it is. And I'm talking about where we go to. So let me thank you again, especially for this solidarity visit. I'm to assure every one of you. I've seen the uh, uh, wonderful uh, presentation. In fact, I would have loved this thing to be when I'll be doing town hall meeting. You know, people were disturbing me. Ah, do town hall, do town hall. I said, I don't know what I will do. But they didn't know why I was delaying it. If I don't town hall that time, I'm sure when I go to a chair. And the chairman, as soon as you know I'm coming, will run away. <laughs> but now, if I'm going to a chair, I don't even need to inform Nkobo. As soon as he's here, he'll be running down to. So, who is the winner now? <laughs> if I go to Okuma, the other day I went to check the projects we're doing there. Before I go to the place, they actually. Kataka Chairman is there. <laughs> if it were before, 
As soon as they hear I'm coming, they, say, they will mobilize people to run away. So you can see what good planning and patience I give to you. Yes. We have been patient, we have planned well, and today all the lines are falling in place. Yes. So we don't need to worry. We'll continue to stand with you. Defend what you believe in. What do you believe in? You believe in fairness. The chief people are voted for standing tall. Oh, you have some bad people there. Yeah. No, 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 you have bad people there. But the good people that is there is more than the bad people. Yeah. So the good is winning. Yeah. And we can see the good here. Yeah. Look at them. Quality. Even if I don't, I'm, even if I don't, I'm not happy for any other thing. I'm happy that we have a founding father. Oh, yeah. It's not going to hire people from uh, Abia. <laughs> yeah? Or in case of people from Mimo. This one, the face is not there anyway. So it means the right people are identifying with this administration. Yeah. And for that reason, I will revisit the issue of your commissioners. I will ensure that before the end of this month, somebody will be sitting with us in the state executive council representing the wonderful people of the chair. It's not, not a chair nationality now, the local government here. So that you don't mix it up, eh? Our mama already has. So it's a cheer. So let me thank you all for this day. God will continue to bless you for your support. We assure you again that those areas of your concern. I'm very happy that the Commissioner for Health is here and you are listening. I hope you've taken note of their concern in terms of the health. Works, are you here? Where is Works? Okay, we are going to make sure that those areas of concern will immediately commence one or two things so that you know that this government has your ear and your concern. Let me, on this note, thank you on behalf of the government, my family, and pray that this support that you're given to me. I can't give you as a person, but only one person can give you the greatest support. God Almighty will continue to support you. Thank you, and may God bless you.